Hello everyone, I'm going to show you something exciting here. Uh, I know that some of you guys wanted to have a, a booking signature in your emails. So let me show you that. So here is the sample. So when you click on the new emails when you want to compose new emails you're gonna see something like that that you have a signature here on the signature side you're gonna have a link that you can book a book an in-person appointment with someone so you can have this one on your uh, on your signature which i'm gonna show you in future so if i send this email to myself let me show how show you how it looked like it gonna be like this and then when you click on book an in-person appointment with me here it gonna open a calendar for you which has some slots here that you can choose to make appointment like for example if i click on this office in person it gonna open this one and then when you click on save it gonna save it for you um, if you click on view in calendar on your calendar side you're gonna see that you have appointment here office in person okay let me show you how to uh, make something like that when you're on your gmail you click on the calendar here or you can actually click on this one either way when you click on these dots here and then click on calendar it's gonna open you a new uh, tab on the new tab you're gonna go find the slot that you want to have the appointment slots you just drag this thing here like I just say from 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. and for an example say office hours And then you're gonna click on appointment slots and you can say well, slots hours should be between 30 minutes or 45 minutes or whatever you want and for an example I just put 30 minutes here and then you have an option for more options when you click on here you do have option to repeat this one just imagine if you want to your customers or your users to be able to book a time with you during some certain times on weekday you click on every weekday Monday through Friday and then you can add the location I just say test here and some test here as well so if you click on save here you're gonna see this on your page so then if you click on any of these slots here you will see an option to go to appointment page for this calendar when you click on go to appointment page for this calendar it's gonna open this link which is accessible for everyone uh, you can use this link on your signature for your user and customers to be able to book a time well, I'm going to copy this one and then go to settings here and then click on see all settings and then scroll down here and as you see I already have something here but I'm gonna make another one to show you how it looks like so when you write that one you can highlight everything or any part of that wherever you like I'm just for now highlight here and then click on link here and then paste it here you can also test the link here in case if you want uh, this is the test how it looks like and when it looks good you can click on ok 
and now you're good to go. Let me give it lots of this. Actually, everything else is good. Uh, then you click on save change. Uh, when you click on add new, you're gonna see this test here. Just for now, delete all these things here. I'm going to send an email and test this one. Here's the test. This is the email. Um, if you click on here, it's going to open the Google Calendar. Um, like if I am the user, I click on any of these blank space to uh, book appointment. On this, like for example, I want it on the Thursday, on Friday at 5.30. I click on this one, add some info here. It's already there. And then click on save. And if I am the customer, I will be able to see that time here. here as you can see I do have an appointment now. Uh, there are some other options that I can show you let me see if I receive some email now. as you see and uh, since I am the user at the same time I'm also the customer for the uh, appointment you're gonna see an email to be sent to yourself and also to the person who made that appointment so the owner of the calendar and also the uh, user who tried to make an appointment gonna receive an email like this uh, you can just it, it on default will be on yes uh, but you can just change these things to no or something uh, I think this is good to go uh, there is another point that I'm gonna show you here that's uh, on the calendar here if you click on this one and then it uh, edit sorry on the pencil thing. We can still edit everything here. Um, I think that you can also add guests here in case if you want always someone else to be in your team for the appointment. Um, you can click on save. I used this calendar here. I believe I used this one actually. Let's see which one. I Okay, I use this one. If you click on these three dots here, you do have option to edit or more stuff. So if you click on setting and sharing, you're gonna be able to see more stuff here. Like for example, make it available to public in case if you wanna make it available through your organization. Uh, you can add the notifications here. So it's gonna send an email uh, notification to the user and also to you 10 minutes before happening and also you can add more notification in case if you want like say one hour before that um, there is some other notifications here that on default is none but I change all of them to the email so whatever happens like new events uh, changing events cancel events responses and other stuff it's gonna be uh, send to the to you and also to the user who booked the appointment okay uh, you don't need to save anything here it's gonna be saved by itself uh, if I go back it can save it I hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, let me know if you have any question thank you